Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope it's not uh, too windy for you to hear. That's uh, how severe the hurricane uh, hit the Florida Orlando land. So we're kind of okay over here. So don't worry about us. Let's keep on praying for the rest of our beloved siblings that are going through harder issues and difficulties. I wanted to share a little thought about um, our connection to our reality, to Hashem and to our lives. Something very, very deep that came to my thoughts. We know that the Creator, He is the source of light and He's the reason of all this creation. Now we know that this world has been created for us to know the Creator and to know Him and to find Him through all of our life experiences and all things that takes place in our lives. The thing is that when we talk about the Creator, so we compare Him to light. And we know that it's written in the ancient scripts in the Midrashim that the Creator wanted to create the world to reveal His loving kindness on His creations, but like to someone. He wanted to share His love and wanted to, to offer all His goodness to someone, but there was no one there to give it to. So He had to create a certain wall of separation and to send His own light to that place, to that empty space and then to start influencing from outside um, from his source of light, of illumination to the earthen world, to the physical world and therefore we as creations we experience certain limitation, poverty, constriction that is not letting us experiencing all his goodness at once just in small amounts and in measures but it came to my thoughts yesterday night that all this time illusion that we're experiencing is like a prism that is breaking the light and by that makes it available for us to sense and to understand and for me that was a very deep understanding and meaningful and I wanted to share it with you even though that it's very very hard for me to really to put it down into words and to explain every 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 thin understanding that I had about that thing yesterday night but anyway I wanted to tell you that from my point of view where I look at this idea so all the time we're experiencing pain all the time we're experiencing poverty difficulties challenges like misunderstandings and and pain and suffer and we're asking ourselves what's gonna be and what's gonna happen but it's it happens to us all the time only because that in reality we experience life under the limitation of time so meanwhile we are here we're going through this difficulty while we are stuck here in this place we are suffering from that constriction from from that pain but with time things are changing and it's true that sometimes even in a whole lifetime a person will not going to get rid of the problem but after death after few lifetimes or whatever when this problem is being solved so then really in the reality that is above time this thing has been solved like let's say that someone stole a million dollar from you let's say that now you both died in that lifetime in the next lifetime you will receive from him he will forget one million dollar at your store or something somehow his child will marry your child, your daughter, and, 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 and by that he will inherit one million dollars toward you and, and it will be fixed and balanced with time. Now again, when we are there in that place, so it's very difficult for us to experience it, but it's only because of our limitation that we are under that illusion of time. 
but time is only like that prism that is breaking the light in half and by that it can be seen the greatness of the creator is an endless infinite light and when you see just light without breaking it you cannot see it you cannot recognize it how the world is being seen to our eyes because the light that comes down from the sun hits the ground and when it hits the ground it jump back to your eyes that beam of light that came down from the source of light hit something physical and then jumps back to your eye and then you can see that thing and based on the speed of light and based on the um, nature of that organism of that thing that physical surface that the beam of light hit the light that will be revealed to your eyes because it been broke somehow in a certain speed to a certain surface in a certain level in a certain angle because of that you're gonna see the grass green the sky bright blue the Sun illuminating in a brighter light and 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 the water clear or blue or, or green or whatever it all depends in the way that the light broke in that prism and prism is like prison therefore we feel like we are in prison because we are experiencing our life on time on a certain speed of light remind yourselves of the wonderful series of movies of Star Wars whenever they try to fly above not try they're succeeding whenever they are passing the light speed you see only light in that screen and that scene is not being filmed anymore they're just jumping to light speed and then they're coming back from light speed so because light speed is not something that we can experience in this world the only way we can experience this world is when we are lower than light speed when the speed of light is being braked on something and that was the purpose and the reason of our creation that the creator realized that as one with him we won't be able to experience his godliness and his goodness therefore he had to break the light and he's breaking it into many 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 forms every cell every atom in this creation is breaking the light and when and when the redemption will take place and we will see his glory our mind will expand to such level that we will experience all the worlds at once like the creator himself that he is now in every angle from every perspective perspective he is looking and observing and experiencing life with us we will climb out of our constriction mindset and we will experience the whole wide picture complete one and we will see how his godliness in move is the expression of all those angles and points that the light was broken into somehow sorry for my english apologize for the wind i hope you got the message and may the creator bless us all and please the world does not exist because Olam Milshon Ne'elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world calls Alma Deshika, world of light. It's just a fake. We're just inside of.